Aloha everyone, Chris Fujigami here. Today we're going to be learning one of the most popular songs that has ever been played on the ukulele, a song by Jason Mraz entitled I'm Yours. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over the picking intro as well as the strumming through the song. And since I cannot sing to save my life, uh, we're just going to stick to the playing part and you guys can use this intro and these chords to sing along with the lyrics. Alright, so let's get right into it. Alright, so first we're going to go over the chords of the song. Your first chord is going to be your C, which is your third fret on your A string. Give that one strum. Second chord is going to be a G major, which is a second fret on your A string, third fret on your E string, and second fret on your C string. G major. Next chord is your A minor, which is just your second fret on the, the top string, your G string. One strum. And then your last chord is going to be your F major, which is your first fret on the E string and your second fret on the G string. So for each chord, your strumming pattern is going to be down, up. Okay. So all it would be is. And you're going to do that strumming pattern four times per each chord. So we'll start off with the C and go. We're going to switch to our G major, same thing, down, up, strum, four times, one, two, three, four. Next chord is your A minor, four times, down, up, strum, two, three, four. And your last chord, F major, down, up, strum. All together would sound like Now that we have covered the strumming, we're going to go back a step and we're going to do the intro of the song. So the main technique in the intro of this song is the slide. Basics of a slide. If we're going to do a sliding technique from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret, you're going to press the 3rd fret on your A string, and you're going to pick that once, and you're going to slide it to the 5th. You're going to slide it all the way down without lifting up your finger once. So you're going to be putting pressure from the 3rd fret all the way to the 5th fret. Again, never letting the finger come up. That's how a slow slide would sound. Sped up would be your sliding technique. Again, three to five. Okay, so that is the basics for that technique. But what this song does is it uses two strings for the intro picking. So instead of sliding with one string, you're going to be sliding with two strings. So on your A string and your E string, you're going to be on the third fret. You're going to hold your third fret down on both strings. And you're going to pick with your pointer and your thumb both strings at the same time. Just like that. So you can either hold with your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the A and your pointer finger on the 3rd fret of the E or you can just use your pointer finger and hold both the 3rd fret on the A and the 3rd fret on the E down at the same time which this one is a lot easier to slide with. So let's pick our A and our E string and let's slide from the 3rd to the 5th. Again, 3rd to the 5th, slide. Okay. After that, you're going to return to the 3rd fret on both the A and the E string, and you're going to pick that together once. Okay. So that beginning technique would be... Again, slide 3 to 5, and go back to the 3rd fret on the A and the E string, and pick that once. 
after you finish that picking, you're going to hold your C chord and you're going to give it three down up strums. One, two, three. Again, so that part would sound like. Next part, you're going to be on the 3rd fret on the A and the E string again. You're going to pick both strings and slide to the 5th. Here's where it changes. Instead of returning back to here, now you're going to be on the 2nd fret of the A string and 3rd fret of the E string. And you're going to pick those together. Again, so it'll be slide from 3rd to the 5th. And then 2nd fret on the A, 3rd fret on the E. Followed up by your G major, three down up strums, one, two, three. Again, so that part would be, two, three. Next, you're gonna slide from the third to the fifth again on both your A and your E string. This time, it's gonna be really easy. You're just gonna pick your A and your E string open. All right, so that would sound like, followed by your A minor, three down up strums. One, two, three. So, so far we would have. All right, so for the ending of the intro, we're gonna pick our E string open twice. And on the second pick, we're going to use our pointer finger to hammer onto the first fret. Okay, so just to cover what the hammering technique is, you're using your pointer finger and it's like you're hammering a nail. You're going to hammer your pointer finger onto the first fret of the E string. So to know that you're doing the hammering technique correctly, without using your right hand to pick anything, you're going to hammer onto the first fret of that E string and it's gonna make a sound. Okay. That's how you know you are, you are doing the hammering technique correct. So now again, you're gonna double pick on your E string and then a hammer onto the first fret of your E string. Again, hammer. And following the hammer, you're going to go to your F major. And this one, instead of strumming three times, you're going to give this one four down up strums. One, two, three, four. All right, so the intro would sound like. After you complete that intro, you're going to now proceed to the regular strumming pattern, which is your down up strum four times per each chord. C major, one, two, three, four. G major, one, two, three, four. A minor, one, two, three, four. F major, one, two, three. So without the counting, what sound like?
that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's a really simple but fun song to play. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. And if you want to follow me on my social media, my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter are all in the description box below. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me. And until next time, aloha.